So basically I was body snatched. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video is a haul. It is a collective haul of Walmart, Sephora, and Ulta, and what I got whenever the aliens snatched me up into the UFO. And today, let's go over all the new things that I got. Just so that you know, I am filming this after I filmed this look. <laughs> um, and it will go, this video will go up before that one. So if you're watching this video and you want to see how I got this look or see the makeup that is featured in today's haul, look out for the video coming up after this one, either next or the one after that. Um, and it's going to be a whiskey and whatever where I just kind of play around with some of this new makeup. So... <laughs> <laughs> let's get right into this um let me let me go over the walmart one first because it's the least crazy of the hauls <laughs> so i was in walmart what was this last week it was on tuesday and this is sunday and i picked up some of the new covergirl scented stuff um i got the peach punch highlighter palette in number 100 these do smell pretty nice. Um, I feel like they smell like fresh peaches. I've seen other people though say that they smell like soapy peaches, but I mean to me it smells good. So um, I don't know, but <laughs> that's my opinion on it. Um, I'm using both of these products in the video where I'm getting ready with this stuff. So if you want to know my thoughts on these, look out for that video. And then I also got the True Naked Peach Punch eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so there you go for those. I did see the chocolate um, collection that they had also, but honestly I was not too excited about it. The bronzer was very like shimmery, which I don't love. And the eyeshadow palette had a shade that looked very similar to the jewels palette that like completely messed up my whole look one time so i was like no i'm gonna stay far away from that <laughs> so these are new at the drugstore and then i placed two sephora orders and one ulta order so let's get into sephora first because both of those are kind of the smaller portion of this haul let me stack all this up <laughs> I have so much sitting right here so first thing that I ordered from Sephora was the <laughs> so, okay seriously <laughs> first thing that I ordered from Sephora was the Sephora um play smarts glitter something or other box um which is really a bag um and it looks like this it's got this kind of like you know changeable um mermaid type of skin bag thingy and this was 20 bucks it is kind of like a one-off of the sephora play subscription box and here's the funny part is that i bought this because i was like oh i'll take a risk and see if there's anything good that i like in it and then after i ordered it i was like oh i wonder if like my subscription addiction or somebody else like that has like the list of things that's in it and then I saw that she did, and I will link that down below, like just her page, because if you subscribe to any like subscription boxes or you want to know what's been in previous boxes um, so that you know if you want to subscribe to something, that is the best resource. I check there every single month to see what's in my play box before I get it <laughs> because they always have the scoop. But they ended up having listed all the stuff in here and I was like, okay, thank goodness I made a good decision because I was like, okay, everything in there I'm going to use and at least see if I like it. So <laughs> without further ado, let, let me tell you what's in here because as of the time that I'm filming this, it's still available, but if it's still available whenever this goes up, I don't know if it is, I will link it down below though. But in here comes the... Uh, here comes <laughs> the Bite Beauty Prismatic Multi Stick in Rose Pearl. Um, pretty decent amount of product in here. I think they say that this can be used as a um, highlighter, an eyeshadow, a lipstick. That is different. I've never swatched this before. Um, right here, as I'm looking at it, it looks like a kind of bronzy shade. And then as I turn it, it turns like fuchsia. 
I'm a little bit shook right now. Like, do you guys see that? That's kind of crazy. But honestly, it looks a little bit kind of chunky glittery. So we'll see. I might use this as an eyeshadow if it doesn't crease like crazy. And then there is the Ule Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream with Vitamin C. It seems like it's a pretty decent amount. Um, so we'll see about this. The Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. I was out of my um, normal Rapid Lash. I need to order a new one. So, hey, I'll give this a go while I'm waiting for the other one to show up. <laughs> I'll save this for last because I got something to say about that. <laughs> then there is the Sephora Collection Contour Eye Pencil in black. This is waterproof. I mean, I'll give it a go and see. I don't really use eyeliner a whole lot. Um, and then they have the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. And this one is in Kitten Karma. Yes, Kitten Karma. Uh, I've been wanting to try these, and I keep hearing mixed reviews. Some people really love these. Some people really love the more metallic ones that don't have the glitter in them. So I figure I'll try this out and see um, before I purchase like a full size of either one of them and I'll see if I actually like it or not. And then the last thing that came in there <laughs> is this Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Now I talked some hella shit about this mascara whenever it first came out. I have not tried it but seeing it on the beauty influencers um, and talking about it the day that it launched, I was just like, y'all look crazy. Um, because it looked really, really bad on every single person that I saw it wearing it. Um, so I'm going to try this out and I'm going to review it and we'll see if it actually is that bad or if I need to eat my words. We will find out. <laughs> so that's what's in there. And also... Where some of the fuzzy math comes in is that so this was $20 and you guys know Sephora is extremely stingy about their um, like promo codes and gift with purchase things. So pretty much for any gift with purchase, the threshold is $25 and up. Some of them are $35, some of them are like purchase a specific item and blah, 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 <sighs> which is one of the reasons why I hate Sephora. But... I was not about to purchase $20 from Sephora and not get a gift with purchase. <laughs> so I ended up purchasing a $5 clearance lip product specifically so that I could get my gift with purchase because it's just one of those mental things like I just cannot stand for them to get one over on me. So I would rather give them five more dollars in exchange for getting something that is probably worth significantly less than five dollars because I feel like in my heart of hearts that I'm getting something more than they're getting, which is not true, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> so I purchased the Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in uh, fig luster. It does seem like it's a decent color. It's definitely something that I would probably wear. It's a little bit darker than I would normally wear, but I kind of like it. I don't think this has a scent, but anyway, um, it was five bucks and I wanted to get my freaking gift of purchase. So <laughs> there you go with that. The gift of purchase that I ended up getting is something that I've been wanting to try and kind of see for myself. Is it any good? Because I've heard so many mixed reviews. So the gift of purchase that I got is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I got mine in the color 170, which I don't know if it's going to be good for me or not, but at least I can see if I like it. It does have a pump and it's a nice size. It's 0.13 ounces. I feel like I could get several uses out of this. To really see if I would want to purchase the full size or not. But you know what? I'm just so into powder foundation lately that I don't even know if I'll be into this. But <laughs> I spent that extra five bucks so that I could see. <laughs> and then my next Sephora purchase was due to my own <laughs> overzealous decluttering. <laughs> um, I had this 
little square Z palette for the longest time and I felt like I never really used it. So then I got rid of it back in February and then whenever I showed you guys my travel makeup bag, um, which I will link somewhere here, um, I told you that I didn't really have any blushes that weren't depotted. Um, so then uh, Nurse Jackie, you got me thinking about getting another Z palette and then I realized that Ulta has apparently stopped selling Z palette. They used to have all of them on their website and now there's only the Ulta for Z palette or Z palette for Ulta type of thing. Just one extra large one or large and I have like a million of those. I really needed the small one. So then I saw on Reddit <laughs> that somebody had depotted um, their Benefit blushes, which is a lot of the blushes that I have, into one of those Makeup Forever things. And I was like, ooh, I know those are really cheap on Sephora. So <laughs> I picked up two of those. I got this size, which is the large, and they fit two Benefit blushes, like the regular size in here. And I was like, cool, I'm going to pick that up. And then I, this is the XL one. And then I also got even more hair all over me. And then I picked up the large one um, because I figured maybe I could fit some of my smaller Benefit um, products in here because I have a few like little small ones. Um, I could fit maybe two of those in here perhaps or even just one um that's fine with me but i got that and then of course because i needed to get to my gift with purchase threshold i got something that had been in my loves list for a while that i just had not um pulled the trigger on and purchased so i got the hourglass there we go the hourglass ambient strobe lighting powder in incandescent strobe light it's just the travel size, which is perfect for me. <laughs> I rarely hit pan on things like this. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It's very, very subtle, which is right up my alley for a highlighter. Um, and this, I think, was like 22 bucks. so great for me. I, that's, that's a perfect investment for me. And then <laughs> for my gift with purchase for that, I ended up getting the Corez Pomegranate AHAS and Enzymes Resurfacing Mask for Oily to Combination Skin. Um, and then, just for the hell of it, I got a um, tiny perfume bottle thing because you guys know I love to like collect those. So for 250 points, I got the um, Versace Bright Crystal um, little perfume bottle. How freaking cute is that? I just can't. Um, and I love the smell of this. So now I have, you know, a little one. So that, I think, yes, that's all I got from Sephora. Let's move on to Ulta. So here's where the alien just kind of like swooped in and just flew away with me. <laughs> because of that travel makeup bag video, um, and because of the blush situation, not only did I buy the empty palettes to put my depotted blush in, I was like, uh, I really should buy like one blush that I just won't depot and I'll just leave in its packaging. So tell me why I ended up with five blushes and two blush palettes of six blushes each. Um, I don't know how it happened. I don't. <laughs> so let's just, let's, let's go over the non-blush items first. Um, first up, I did have $125 worth of points. So I had 2,000 points to use at Ulta. Um, and then I also had a 20% off coupon. So basically with that, I know I can spend, I think it's roughly $162 and basically pay like a dollar or less and then plus tax to um, use up my 20% plus my 2,000 points and then I pay almost nothing. So I think that this order I ended up with like $165 or something. So after tax my total was $5. Um, so 
even though I made some <laughs> alien-induced decisions, I still only paid $5 for it, so I don't feel that bad. <laughs> So, um, the first thing that I got, let me show you this first. Um, I got the Wet Brush Epic Professional Quick Dry um, for the blow dryer. Now, here's the, here's the dealio with this. I bought the Wet Brush Flex that kind of looks like this, but it like flexes a lot. And it said that it was heat resistant and it said that it was good for, for blow drying. But you guys, I mean, I still use it, but his hair the bristles on it like after the first use they all just like rah, they were going crazy um so it was most definitely not heat resistant um but this says heat resistant up to 450 degrees ergonomically designed yada 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 so we're gonna test this out and see I do love wet brush it's the only brush that I've used in the past like five years or so um so We'll see, you know, but it had better performed better than the other one. And then I got a new mask because, of course, and this is the Yes to Super Blueberries Skin Recharging for Stressed Skin. Yes, that's me. Um, recharging Greek Yogurt and Probiotics 3-in-1 Mask, Scrub, and Cleanser. It looks like this. It comes in a little tube tube tub <laughs> and it has a little scooper on it which I do appreciate so I'm excited to try this out and then as a free gift with purchase oh for purchasing some L'Oreal stuff um they were giving away this Balm On by L'Oreal lipstick and here's the thing they had all of the shades listed under the gift with purchase thing and the only wearable shade was like confession or confidence or something like that. And I went to select it and every time I tried to select it, it was saying I had to pay for it, even though it was supposed to be gift of purchase. <laughs> so rather than wasting my time live chatting with them or calling them, I just gave up and I went with purple. <laughs> This is Liberation, which I will probably almost never wear, um, but you know what, I might wear it for a video or something, um, so I'll get some use out of it, but it was free, so why not? Why not just go crazy? <laughs> and then I got the Clinique Pep Start Pout Restoring Night Mask. I am really excited about this. I have been on a lip mask kick lately. And this had amazing reviews, so I'm going to give it a go and see if it's as good as people say it is. Oh, I forgot that I got this. <laughs> you guys know I have a supreme love for the Smashbox Cover Shot eyeshadow palettes. I have, I think, four of them. I have the Matte, the Golden Hour, the Ablaze, and the Sultry. Um, and then I saw this. And the original price is $34. You guys, this was on sale for $23, of which I probably paid like 70 cents on my total of $5 for this whole haul. Um, so it includes the Neutrals Eye Palette, a full size of the Full Exposure Mascara, and a full size of the Gel Liner in a black shade. Um, so, hell yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, let me just show you this is what it looks like and then this is the palette itself nice neutral colors there's some shimmers there's some mattes I'm kind of excited about it I will definitely get some use out of this you guys for the price I think these are normally 29 bucks for just the palette itself excellent quality excellent size of palette I feel like in these no shadow really goes to waste because a lot of the larger palettes, I just don't use all of the shades and then I feel like I'm wasting it. But this, definitely worth it. For 23 bucks, OMG. Even the original price of 34, you get a full size mascara and a full size eyeliner. Hello, you need this. Now I did buy four Ulta items, Ulta beauty items. And the thing was that they were buy two, get two free. So I bought 
two blush palettes that were 18 bucks each and then I got two other products that were nine dollars each so I had an 18 and 18 and then an 18 combined um, I got the full coverage liquid concealer waterproof in light cool and then I got the tinted juice infused lip oil in passionate peach both of these were $9, but both of these I ended up getting for free because I purchased the other two things. And here's where the fuzzy math comes in again. So I purchased this stuff as soon as I woke up on a Friday and we're heading up to Washington um, to pick up an extra load. And I was like, okay, it's finally time I need to make this order before my coupon expires. And I was sitting there after I placed the order. And in addition to thinking like, how did I just end up buying like almost 20 blushes? <laughs> I was thinking to myself, oh, but you know what? I feel good about it though because that Ulta stuff was buy two, get two free. And my blush palettes were 18 a piece. And then these two items were 18 combined. And I got these for free, which is minus $18. And then the blush palettes were $18 and it was buy two, get two free. So basically I paid $18 for all of this stuff. And then I was like, I was really excited about it for like 20 minutes and I was thinking, man, I'm like a great shopper. And then it occurred to me <laughs> that the two blush palettes I technically paid full price for and then these two things I got for free, a total value of $18. So it was like I paid $36 to get $18 free which is still good, but it's not quite like paying 18 to get 36 free. You know what I mean? But in my head for like a solid 20 minutes, I was like, man, this is awesome. And then it occurred to me that I still only paid $5 for the whole order. So I still came out winning regardless, even with my fuzzy math. But I did use both of these in the video that's coming up with playing around with the new products. So look out for that. Now on to the blushes. <laughs> the immense amount of blushes, like I don't know how this happened, honestly. I was like, let me get one blush that I won't depot. And then somehow it turned into so many. <laughs> so the two Ulta blush palettes that I got is Peach Pop and Mad for Mauve. Um, these, I feel like don't purchase any Ulta stuff whenever it's not on a really good sale. Just because it's Ulta stuff. It's not like high-end stuff or anything, you know. But I feel like 18 bucks for getting six good-sized blushes, you can totally get a blush brush into these. Not bad. Um, and in this mauve one, it looks like you have... Is this a shimmer? No, that looks like a matte. So you have, it looks like three mattes and three shimmers in this one. And I like that the shimmers you can kind of use as a topper also. These are definitely a little bit more punchy than the peach ones, but I think could still work for a lot of different skin tones. Um, definitely leans more cool toned overall. And then the peach pop I also used in that video that's coming up. And these definitely lean a little bit more warm toned. I think there are, it looks like three, possibly four shimmers and then two mattes. And this terracotta also could double as a bronzer for some people as well. Um, but I used this today and I feel like it turned out really nice. Um, they blended really nicely. Overall, really good quality for these. And then I got two mini benefit blushes. I got Gold Rush, which I've been wanting to try. It's kind of hard to get that on camera. Um, but I love the look of this on the inside. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. I think I'm going to depot both of these though, <laughs> and put them into one of those small makeup forever pans. And then I got California. You guys, um, what is it, Rockateur and Coralista, two of my favorite blushes, um, and they're both from Benefit, so um, I'm excited to try these out. This California does not have the little sun design on the mini version, so be aware of that. Whew, and then, coming to the end of it, I have three L'Oreal blushes. 
I absolutely love the um, True Match blush formula. Baby Blossom and um, what's that one? Ooh, it's like peach or coral something, I think. Oh, that one's really good too. But this one I got in um, in five to six apricot kiss. I just wanted something a little bit different. Oh, and I love the look of this. I've just been really getting into these kind of like corally peachy type of blushes lately. So this I'm excited to use. Guys, this is an excellent blush formula. If you have not tried it, Give it a hand. Then the last two blushes that I got um, are also L'Oreal, and they are the Enchanted Parrot. No wait, Paradise Enchanted blushes. And actually, they're supposed to have a scent, but I don't think that I've actually smelled them yet, even though I used one of them. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh God. <laughs> Um, okay, these are supposed to smell like fruit. And this one, this is bashful. Oh, it straight up smells like... It smells like plastic coated fruit. Like 90% plastic, 10% fruit. And then I have Fantastical. Which smells a little bit like rotting mango. <laughs> so, um... They did not nail the scent on these. However, I have used Fantastical and it did go on really nicely. I haven't gotten to use Bashful yet though, but this actually is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. It almost looks like it could be a highlight shade because it is quite shimmery looking. Um, Maybe not, but definitely a blush topper for me, I think. Um, whereas... Fantastical is more of just a straight up um, blush. But I like the formula of these so far, at least from trying the one. Um, so I'm pretty excited to continue trying them. I don't know if I will depot these. <sighs> I'm going to try to keep most things in their little pots now because I tend to kind of regret depotting things whenever the tough gets going and the going gets tougher, however that goes. <laughs> But that is my haul brought to you by the Aliens and Fuzzy Math. Also, can we just talk about, just for one second, who else watches Ancient Aliens and who else is just, like, has, like, the tiniest crush on that Aliens dude, the one with the hair? I don't know what it is. I mean, let's be honest, it's the hair. Um, but he's just, like, he's so like into it and his hair is just like you just want to um anyway kind of have a little bit of a crush on him <laughs> that is it guys i hope that you enjoyed this haul and look out for that video where i'm playing with all of this new makeup and i will catch you guys next time bye